In this video, I've decided to try a little experiment with time travel, and I've gone back to my Windows XP days, and I am going to attempt to use not Adobe Captivate 8, which is what I currently use for all my e-learning development, but Macromedia Captivate version 1. So, running in a virtual machine, I've managed to get a version of Macromedia Captivate, uh, just the trial version running. So we'll see what happens here. This is the first time I've opened it and uh, after installing it, and I'm just going to say I have uh, 31 days remaining. Anyway, this experiment should prove interesting to see how capable I am of using this software. So let's hit continue. And yeah, we'll see what happens. It might be running a little weird because I'm doing this in a virtual machine. Okay, so some similar things. There's obviously the splash screen that, that does show up. Oh, a, a suggestion to upgrade to Adobe Captivate 3. That's kind of interesting. <laughs> uh, so what are my choices here? Well, I can open a recent movie, or I could record a movie. Uh, I, so yeah, I don't even know what this is. Um, uh, record or create a new movie. The other options are uh, import a movie. Yeah, none of this seems particularly familiar. I'm going to try the obvious large Captivate button here. Um, what? Let's try blank movie. Click OK. So this is kind of familiar. Um, blank movie. So, okay, yeah. So, I mean, I've done this before. Let's just go 800 by 600. This seems sort of familiar. Oh. If I double click on this yeah so here's my timeline up at the top that's kind of weird and my preview is down here and oh okay so I've got my captions a highlight box an image rollover caption rollover image text entry animation my alignment toolbars here that's something familiar and let me just take a look up here and see what's going on here. Um, so there's Publish. Let's add the Advanced Toolbar. Oh, that's over here. So that gives me... Well, let's do something very simple. Let's just uh, add some text. So we'll insert... Um, I was going to say just a box, but there's no smart objects here. So let me just do a text caption. Oh, this is weird. New caption. Okay. Um, we'll just choose a transparent one and font, and I can just type Hello. <laughs> Welcome to going to type Adobe Captivate, Macromedia Captivate version 1. Okay, so very straightforward here. And of course I can make this in the center of the... Um, let's see if I can resize this. Control 0 doesn't work. Um, no, I don't think so. So I double click to edit anything. There's no real, unless it's over here maybe, in one of these options. Uh, let's bump that up to like 20. There we go. We'll center that on the page. And let's add a button so we can go next. Yeah, that's a 
Right, so there's like no actual properties um, panel. It's these new item panels, I guess, really. So on success, yeah, okay, so go to next slide. So, I mean, it's kind of similar, but I mean, boy, would this take me a long time. Uh, let's have the button text say next. for a rest of slide pause interesting so all the same stuff is actually there it's uh well a lot of it is so there's my next button so let's make a new slide let's insert um um how do i make a new slide Well, I guess I can always duplicate the slide and then do something else here. 24, maybe? I don't know. I can't seem to make a font size greater than 24, so maybe we'll make this bold just to have it stand out a bit. So that seems to be it. Let's preview. What a completely alien experience going through and looking at this. Like the the timeline is somewhat familiar, um, but not hugely. <laughs> I can't seem to resize it. Um, I could change the duration maybe and and things like that, but uh, I can't seem to resize the window. Oh, I can resize. That's interesting. I can resize the... And look at this storyboard view. Wow, that's kind of interesting. This is very different. Like, it, it's, it's amazing that eight versions have entirely changed the software. Like, it's... Could I have this button do something... Let's see here. No, no advanced uh, actions at all. Um, I can include it in the quiz. Let me see if I can insert a question slide. So let's try that. Oh, okay, so here are my choices. Multiple choice, true, false, fill in the blank, short answer, matching. Let's just do a multiple choice for now. Yeah, I vaguely remember this from version 2, is that again, there was no properties panels for this stuff. Again, it was just, so, you know, what is the capital of Canada? And we'll say Ottawa, Toronto. Vancouver, Edmonton, and uh, is there a way to randomize those answers? Let's allow user uh, infinite attempts. It won't show the correct answer. No, so, like, I can't even randomize my answer, so I have to put it somewhere. Uh, enable output options, so you can choose um, different LMS-compatible stuff here. This is kind of interesting. So, SCORM. Yeah, all the usual manifest stuff is here, so that's cool. Uh, report interactions in the score. Geez, uh, if I had the extra time, I'd, I'd try to publish one of these things and see if it actually loaded on my LMS that I work with. Uh, 
Okay, so let's just... Oh, let's actually go back to that and... Go to quiz. So, um, they need to get 70% to pass. So yeah, okay, so there's all my captions for the correct answers, and that kind of works, I guess, sort of. Um, yeah, and then the appropriate buttons here. Let's try this out, let's see how it works. Hello, welcome to Macromedia Captivate 1. Click Next. Here's my page 1, and we'll click Next again. What is the capital of Canada? To scroll down to see my. Isn't that weird that. Oh my god, this is so bizarre. Please try again. Ottawa, submit. It's amazing. It, some of it seems very familiar. I never actually used Captivate 1, but I did use Captivate 2, Captivate 2.0, and I think I used 3, and I just kind of played with 4 a little bit and have used Captivate 5, 6, 7, and 8 now. But what a what a strange thing. Let's take a look at publishing. Let's see how that works. So I'm going to publish this course. We'll just give it a name. Test. So this isn't too bad. Um, so three slides. Score 1.2. Yes, yes. 508 compliance. I think that was the archaic version of like uh, accessibility. I'm not sure. Accessibility. Um, and then, sure. This is all good, interesting stuff. Oh wow! Look at these. These are cool. <laughs> different playback controls for we'll just pick one of those that's kind of interesting and uh, we'll uh, full screen I didn't think that was available let's just zip those files right up look at all these options here so we could do I wonder what handouts look like oh interesting so this would be a way that you could actually create a document for people to see the slides for it. Didn't have that before. And of course FTP, something that uh, is not actually, to my knowledge, available in the current version of Captivate. But how interesting is all this stuff? This is just really wild. And then of course you could do a standalone course. Let's just do this. That <laughs> takes no time at all. Wow. Let's just uh, take a look here. And that should have stored it in my documents, my Captivate projects. There it is. Let's uh, let's extract all that and take a look what's in there. Of course, to to use this version of Captivate, incidentally, I had to install Netscape Navigator with the original version of Macromedia Flash. And here it is. Here, let's. Uh, Let's run this and see how that looks. So there's my course. Wow, this is wild. So click next. Next. Let's choose that and scroll down to find my submit button. There's that cool playback bar. Please try green. This is uh, really kind of cool because I really totally did not expect it to even function. This is uh, very cool. It works. Captivate 1 was a success. So, what an interesting, uh, interesting experiment. I really wanted to travel through time and see what Captivate 1 was like. Now I've seen it. I don't know if I'd want to use it, but um, I guess in a pinch if you had uh, no version of Captivate available, this would at least get you through the basics of creating some e-learning. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm a little uh, blown away by this. This is kind of cool. 
Guys, if you like the videos that I'm producing, go ahead and, uh, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you like this video and find it kind of interesting, go ahead and give me a thumbs up.